far away. They have bringing Washington in the middle is Southern head coach, Sandra Pugh, and on your far right we have Kendra. Sandra Pugh, excuse me. Far right we have Kendra Coleman. Coach, if you could open it up with a statement and then we'll take questions. Um, first of all, um, I'm just overwhelmed. I'm, I'm thankful God and these kids for being here. Um, you know, it was a hard fought um, game contest. My hat's off the valley. Those kids really played hard. They shot the ball extremely well and um, did some great things. Um, you know, I thought we started the game um, a little tentative, a little lethargic. You know, when you, when you take out someone who, who brings so much uh, and value and intensity and uh, leadership uh, to our team as uh, a Jasmine Jefferson, you know, that's a huge blow. You don't realize how much she means to this team until you have to play without her. Um, earlier in the year, um, she got elbowed at Alcorn and she went out of the game and we went down 17 points at halftime. And she was able to come back and she was the one that got us going on that comeback, you know, with her energy, her playing off the bounce, getting rebounds and doing things. So, you know, my hat's off to these kids. You know, when we went down, gave up the, the five, uh, the three-pointer over in the corner, we went down five, and, uh, you know, they kind of dropped their heads because we've been telling them all, all, all game not to leave the shooting because that little kid shoots the ball so well. Um, and we did that, and we went down five with less than two minutes to go. Um, you know, I just went to this one right here and told her, this is what she did, this is her time. You know, if we don't win a lose, we're going to do it with the ball in our hands. And, and uh, that's what we did. Questions? Coach, um, you want to just talk a little bit more about um, just how I mean, like, this just builds the character, just playing without some of your girls, just how does this... Your this is building character. I, I don't. I don't think I, I like that lesson. I don't think I want to do this again. <laughs> um, you know, uh, when you talk about character, you're talking about these kids that you're sitting that are in front of you right now. Uh, they're of the highest moral character. I mean, everybody would want their daughters to emulate these guys. You know, so. Um, I'm just proud that I'm able to uh, coach them and uh, have an opportunity to sit here with them. Sandy, which was a bigger roller coaster? The three days leading up to this or the game itself? The game. <clears throat> you know, you guys don't understand. I don't listen to the media. I don't listen mm -hmm. to the news. I don't, you know, unless somebody calls me and say, hey, you know, you're on, you, you're on the internet. I'm like, really? What am I doing? <laughs> you know, because I, I don't focus on that. I never have as a coach, you know. Uh, I've never been one to believe in what someone else writes about me. You know, I learned a long time ago, my mother, you know, always said, you need to know who you are, somebody will tell you who you're supposed to be. I know exactly who Sandy Pugh is, I know exactly who these kids are. And we know who we are. You know, and I tell them, remind them that every day, that they're champions. You know, and, and, and it's, it, you know, a lot of times it's, about, it's not about hoisting trophies, it's about your presentation in terms of your work ethic and your attitude. Um, you know, so we showed that. We showed that we were champions. We showed that um, we have character. We, I mean, down five, who in the building gave us a shot? Nobody but us. With all the changes, changing opponents shortly before, the, I mean, 24 hours ahead of time, losing seven players, getting two back, I mean, that's stuff that had to You know, well, when they said we had um, seven players suspended, you know, I sat down with my athletic director and, excuse me, I wasn't coming with five people. You know, I didn't think that was fair to the kids. And uh, he, you know, was a bulldog in behind this. Because, you know, you know, the tape that we had, the conference didn't have it. So um, he was adamant about them being able to see that footage because it was never requested. And to see that footage and to, um, make sure that Kendra and, and Courtney uh, were exonerated and, um, you know, because, you know, when, when, when you have your, your mother or your father calling you, questioning you about something you did, and you're looking around like, my, I didn't do anything, you know, um, that's hard. You know, and that was a major league distraction for these kids. You know, I'm, I'm, you know I'm, I've been around a long time. Things like that don't distract me. 
I know my purpose. I know what I'm here for. I've been at this a long time. But when you're dealing with 21-year-olds, you know, yeah, they make mistakes. But these kids did nothing wrong. And I thought it was important that um, the world and everyone who had an opinion or thought they had an opinion knew that. Because uh, before you start saying things and putting things out there in stories, saying that we had a fight with Alabama a and and all this stuff, get your facts straight. And um, I thought that, you know, once this, the video, the actual correct footage was released, people saw that my kids were doing the right thing. But when you see a family member laying down, being pummeled by seven individuals, what, what would you do? You know, and that's how we look at each other. That's a, that's a family member. You know, so it's awfully hard as a coach. You know, you, you, you're teaching, but when you're sitting there and you see those kids run out there to try to pull a kid out, and we had three knuckleheads who did some things that they shouldn't have done, and they're very remorseful. One, we had to terminate because of her behavior. However, I had all these other individuals who did nothing wrong. And I was, um, I was very proud of my athletic director who went in and, and went to bat. And, and, and a number of other ADs went to bat to make sure that um, it was, it was uh, pointed out that those kids did nothing wrong and, and Courtney and Kendra were allowed to play. Kendra, can you kind of take us through your game tonight? I mean, you started out with the two early fouls. You got to you got to watch a lot in the first half, um, but then you, you really turned it on. I think you made 16 straight free throws to close out the game. I mean, you were just take um, the good and the bad. I had a slow start um, sitting on the bench next to coach. Hearing her talk, <laughs> as always. I mean, but I um, stayed focused, um, kept my team in, and um, I was just, you know, ready to get back out there whenever she called my name. I still love it, though. It's all love. <laughs> you weren't hitting all your shots, but I mean, just talk about the free throw line, just the, the clutch shots down the stretch, and just. Um, and I just. Made 16 in a row before? No, I don't think I ever did that. <laughs> you know what I'm I really wasn't counting. Mm -hmm. I don't think I did that since last year at Elkhorn, I believe. I made like 12 in a row, but not 16 in a row. So. She probably made it because she was doing I really was in the back of my head somewhere back right there, but I, I had to just come through for my team, um, knowing that you know I had two fouls, I had to be aggressive. So that's what I did. And y'all were down late, and uh, did you think about Jazz? I thought about Jazz throughout the whole game, um, knowing you know some of the rebounds that we didn't get. I know she was gonna get if she was in you know here, but I really you know thought about it throughout, throughout the whole game. Very good, because <laughs> I miss her, I really do, and I know the team does, so <clears throat> you will, you're going to love to have her back. I'll send away the next question. I'm Leah Frazier Dixon with Bring the Pain Sports, and my question is actually for Brittany. How, tell me about the moment when you heard that your teammates were going to be reinstated for this game. Tell me about that. I was ecstatic. I mean, I was so happy to see Courtney and Kendra come back. I mean, you know, we splash sisters and think about else oh, know. I mean, oh, we work side by side. And um, Courtney, she was big for us in the Texas Southern game in you know, the first half. And I was just ecstatic, to, you know, very excited to see them come back because we are a family and I was going to miss them a lot. So <laughs> it, was, it was a big joy in my heart to hear that they were coming back. Coach Pill, you got over this hurdle. Hey, lady. Hey, lady. You okay, Cognito? I didn't know who you were. <laughs> Way back. <laughs> you got over this hurdle. Like, how how are you so like, oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how, how are y'all gonna how mm, see I can't even get it. How are you gonna adjust now moving forward? What adjustments will be made, the mental set, et cetera, et cetera? We're gonna put our foot on this accelerator. We're gonna get back to what we do. We're going to run, get that thing up and down the court fast. We're going to play off the bounce. We're going to get up uh, and, you know, get out here and play basketball, you know. Um, I'm just excited to have the, 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 the full complement back and we can get back to our normal rotation. You know, because prior to all this, we were playing really well. I mean, our time and intensity focused. Everyone had their roles down and uh, total buy-in. It, it, it was just beautiful, you know. So, you know, with this little hiccup, this disruption, you know, uh, it's behind us now. Uh, we're going to take, come in, you know, tomorrow at noon and, and, and go to practice and, and get
get our strategy back in and get ready to, you know, tackle whoever wins the all four P D game. But, you know, I you know, I I just you know, like I told the kids before we made the final decision to come to the tournament, um, when we re we realized that they were reinstated, you know, I asked them, I, you know, I these kids I asked them, what you wanna do? You know, because it's not about saying people, it's about them and what they wanna do. Because ultimately they have to get out there and perform. And um, I asked them, I said, what you guys want to do? And I let them meet about it. And then um, we walked out. And uh, when I walked back in, they were already dressed for practice. I said, I guess that answered that question. They said, yeah, coach, we roll with you. Let's go. So, you know, and I thought when the reality hit when we got here, and there was no Jazz, and there was no Jada, and there was no Drea, and there was no Yay. I think it was a little overwhelming for them, sitting in that locker room with just eight people. You know, a couple of kids who never played, the little freshmen sitting there looking at me wild eyed, like, oh crap. <laughs> you know, it's a lot easier when you sit at the bench hoping to play as opposed to someone depending on you to perform. So, um, but you know, Tay went in at the end and she had a big rebound and a big contested shot just being alone. And uh, I thought that was a game changer. That was a lift moment for us. You know, the three bread hit and uh, Kendra getting to the free throw line and just. You know, we, we, we completely changed the pace and, you know, one of the things I you know, always tell them about, you don't lose a win, you do it with style and grace, and the bottom line is you leave it on the court. And I thought we did that. So Kendra and then Brittany, um, just going out there and playing with eight, only eight people, I mean, just for one, how draining was that, but then uh, secondly, just how much does that show? The will of this team to be able to get over that, you know, tiredness and be able to pull it out the end. Um, we knew um, coming into this game what we had, and uh, we just had to do what we had to do just to get the win. We got to we had to play hard, play as, play as a team together with the crew that we had. There's no quitting us. I mean, we're gonna fight to the end. We're not going down without oh, fighting. to the end for it, please. <laughs> 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 we got a lot of heart in us, and we knew that going back to that hotel, we were going to have some mad soldiers back there waiting on us. So we came out here and we, we pulled it off. And um, get, uh, for some strange reason, I don't want to play into the second half, but we came out and we, we fought. <coughs> we came back and, and we pulled it off. Challenge. You should get that. <laughs> Talk a little bit about when Taylor took substitute when you made the substitution for Taylor to go in mm -hmm. for Brittany and, and I just looked at Taylor. She's like, "Oh shoot, I really have to do something." Um, talk a little bit about that because I thought that the exchange from when you came out and when she came in for the time when you were able to when you were able to rest, um, like you said, she put some quality minutes up and down. Well, they were hurting us uh, with uh, twenty. She was just catching and shooting over the top of Brianna. So I thought maybe if we went with our Taylor, she might, she, the Taylor's long. Mm -hmm. I mean, she, you know, you, you're going to have to work to get it. Now, you might go fly, uh, flying by past her, you know, but, you know, as far as straight up, I mean, that's a task. So um, I was just happy to see her go in and contribute. Um, um, you know, that little kid has been through a lot in the last year with the, the ACL tear and just not trying to get back into some type of, you know, rhythm. Probably shouldn't even have played this season, but um, you know, it's good to see her go in and contribute and be a big part of her team's success. Do you have any more questions? What's up? Andrew, just one more. Just, did it ever sink in late in the game just that this could be your final game playing in Southern? I mean, was that fighting at you at all, just knowing that? Besides my loving coach right here in my ear telling me, you know, that this was my time, um, I had to go. I had to I had to have the ball in my hands. I wanted the ball in my hands. Knowing that I'm a senior and this is my last go around. I wanted the ball in my hands. That's what she did. Last question. Sandy, are you just excited to get back on the practice floor tomorrow with all the pieces in hand and you're able to play the way you couldn't play yeah. tonight? It was kind of strange today at practice because um I called for the blue squad, and Jazz was standing on the baseline. She was like, Coach, did that, does that include me? I said, no, you're great. She dropped her head. 
you know, so that was that was different because when you talk about the Blue Squad, you're talking about JS for four years. I mean, you know, she's just been a staple of these two kids, and and this one here over here has just been I mean, that's the big three, you know, and you know they got to get out and get after it, and, and we we were, the some of the shots we talk, took I thought were really rushed. You know, I thought that the pressure of the moment was a little much on them. You know, so I wanted to back away from get this shot, you know, and the pressure that a coach tends to bring and to let them kind of find their rhythm a little bit. Um, but, you know, it, that's a fine line to walk as a coach because you know if they don't score, you're not going to win. You have told me we'd have been able to get 38 rebounds without Jazz and, and Jada, you know, the exam there, I would have been like, no way. But to see Courtney step her game up and get a double-double, I mean, and, you know, uh, Brittany and Kendra over here, five and six rebounds, that, I mean, that just tells you that, you know, they're bad. You know, I'm watching it as a coach. It wasn't a pretty game to watch, you know. I didn't think the execution was there. We stood around a lot. Our rotations were terrible. A lot of things were just out of sync and out of rhythm. But the bottom line is, you know, they fought. Well, there I go. Um, <laughs> they, they, you know, they competed, they battled, and um, you know, and we got that dub, and that's all that mattered. And, and to answer that last piece, yes, I'm looking forward to being on the court tomorrow with the full complement, and I'm sure Coach TJ is ready to get his point guards back, and um, you know, let's get after it. Thanks, guys. <laughs>